Hello and welcome to the course of HDL Digital Circuit Design. Today's topic is Miele Non-Overlapping Sequence Director which is 1011. Myself Shilpa Rudravar, Assistant Professor, School of ENTC Engineering, MIT Academy of Engineering, Arandi Pune. So moving towards today's point. So in previous uh, lecture session, we have seen 1011 Miele Sequence Detector Overlapping Type. In that we have seen, this is a block diagram where you are able to see clock is one of the input, reset is another input, IP is the third input and this OP is out. Now, depending on it and the input applied, it will be giving you output and output will be one only when whole sequence is getting detected. That is 1011 at this point, last one, your output will be one else other condition output will be zero. So that is explained through this particular uh, sequence. So he, this is what is the IP that is input given to the sequence detector. What will be the state that is defined over here uh, at whatever instance it is in which state A, B, C, D that is mentioned and then output is mentioned. So now for the more uh, detail, you can see the previous video. Just to continue for the non-overlapping, I want to explain what is the change. So over here, when input is applied, that is the sequence of 10 over there. So 1011, is the sequence given. So in overlapping case, we have considered last one of first uh, sequence as the first one of second sequence. This is the last one of first sequence and this is acting as a first one of the second sequence and that's why in overlapping case at this moment when 1011 is there at last one you are getting output detected now this last one is considered first one for the second sequence and that's why from this only 1011 is considered and its sequence is detected over here again this last one is considered as the first one of your third sequence so 1011 you are getting one here this is overlapping case. Now, in non-overlapping case, what will be the change? In non-overlapping, instead of this last one considered as a first one, this will be considered as a first bit and your sequence will again start detecting from this particular point. And that's why total, how many times your output sequence is getting detected? Here in the overlapping way, uh, three times sequence is getting detected for for non-overlapping, only two times sequence is getting detected because over here 1011, first sequence is detected, again 0, 1, 1, 0. So this is another sequence, 1011, and that's why only at this point and this point your sequence is getting detected. For more detail, we'll be moving ahead with the non-overlapping sequence detector. So this way we have seen how uh, we have find out or what we, how we have drawn this particular state diagram now over here today's topic that is 1011 mele non-overlapping type sequence detector now as you know in fsm that is finite state machine there are two types mele and more again in mele we are having two types that is overlapping and non-overlapping Again, in Moore also, we are having no overlapping and non-overlapping -overlap type, type of sequence detector. Now, what is meant by Mille? So, in Mille, my next state and output depends upon present state and input. And in Moore, my next state and output depends upon present state only. It is not considering input here. So, my output is state dependent. That way also you can say. So, again the block diagram is same. Sequence detector 1011. At this time we are considering non-overlapping type. And this is what is the output we got for the overlapping type. For the same sequence we have considered non-overlapping type. So, now as I told you earlier, 1011, this is the first time sequence is getting detected and this is the second sequence is getting detected. So, for the same sequence of input for the non-overlapping type uh, sequence detector, I am getting only two times sequence detected. So, how you will be doing that? So, for that, we will be moving ahead with this particular diagram. Now, we need to draw this state diagram and for that, what we need to do? We need to draw this table as we have mentioned earlier for the overlapping case same we need to follow so i'll be taking one pointer so as to explain you in the better way so now you are having this particular state diagram you need to draw it so what is the first step 
so first step is so first step is you need to draw the states so what is mean by state so this circle indicates the states a b c and d these are the states now how many states you need to take that is the first step is that many bits you are having in the sequence the same number of states you need to take so over here you are able to see it's a 1011 sequence that four bits are there and that's why we have taken this four state a this is b this is c and this is d and we have given the name for the identification purpose so a b c d is the name given now what is the third step that we need to find out if i am in a state what is the meaning of that if i am in b state what is the meaning of that same way for the c and d and that's why what you need to write a is your reset state beginning state starting state and this is denoted by zero means whenever you are in this state nothing is detected yet and you are starting from the beginning so this is what is the zero that's why you have written zero over here now in the b state what is the meaning of b that one is already detected sequence that is one zero one one is there out of that one is already detected and why we have written one over here that is the first bit of your sequence then when you are moving towards c you need to take first two bit of your sequence and whenever you, you are at d you need to take first three bit of your sequence and that is one zero one hope that idea is clear so what is the meaning of a state zero is detected whenever you are in b state means one is detected c state one zero is already detected whenever you are in d state one zero one is detected now you are detecting last bit that is one so hope that idea is clear that three step now whenever you need to draw the state diagram it is easy with this particular uh, table so whenever you are in a state so this is what you are in a state and what is the meaning of a state that zero is already detected now again same is written we are in a state and zero is already detected so why we have written this two times because we need to consider both the cases of input when input is zero sorry when input is 0 as well as input is 1 so that's why we have written this a twice now whenever you are in a state and input is 0 so i need to combine these two columns that is partial sequence detected and input over there this is what is my present state now i have combined these two columns so as to get this thing so 0 0 i am writing over here that is 0 okay so same way we have written it for the all the cases now when i am in a state and input is zero so i need to go to next state depending upon whatever the combination you are getting so if i am having zero zero you need to check from a is there any state state naming zero zero so i am in state a and my input is zero so same state is there 0 0 0 and 0 is same and that's why it will be in the self loop so self loop will be there and you need to write 0 by 0 because input is 0 output will be 0 because whole sequence is not detected at now when your input is 1 what you need to do when input is 1 at that time here you are able to see that 0 1 is there so is there any state naming 0 1 yes that is there and that's why 1 and 0 1 is same and that's why it is moving from a to b now you are in b state now you are in b state now check you are in b state and input is 0 so is there any state naming 1 0 from b is there any state naming 1 0 yes and that's why we are moving from b to c and you are writing input is 0 output is 0 so again next option you need to find out is there any state naming 1 1 from b so from b if input is 1 is there any state naming 1 1 no that is not available and that's why what you need to do you need to cut the left side bit so is there any state naming 1 yes that is there and that's why same state so self loop is there and you are writing 1 by 0 over here now these four conditions are over now you need to check for this condition is there any state naming 
one zero zero because you are in now C state. What is the meaning of C state? That one zero is already detected. You have detected this one zero, and now you are searching for the third bit. Now you are in C state over here. You are able to see you are in C state. Meaning of C state one zero is detected. And your input is zero. So is there any state naming one zero zero? So there is no state naming one zero zero. So you need to delete left hand side bit. So you are deleting this one. Sorry. So you are deleting this one. Is there any state naming zero zero? So zero and zero zero are same, and that's why from C it will be moving towards A. And on transition you are writing x by z. So zero by zero x that is input. Z that is output or in this case we can consider IP as an input and OP as an output. So zero by zero input by output. Now this part is over. Now check for this condition. Is there any state naming one zero one? So that is there and that's why this is what is the C to D. It is moving and on the transition you are writing input is one, output is still zero because a partial sequence is detected. Full sequence is not yet detected. And now you are on D state. Now this part is crucial. In previous overlapping case, up till this point, it is same. Now for this condition, you need to check that is there any state naming one zero one zero. So there is no state naming one zero one zero, and that's why what you need to do, you need to cut this first left hand side bit. Is there any state naming zero one zero? Same like a one zero. Uh, now you need to cut this zeroth bit. Now, is there any state naming one zero? Yes, that is there, and that's why you are going ahead with this. So, this is the state C where one zero is detected, and like you are writing zero by one. Sorry, zero by zero because sequence is yet not detected. And last part, last part where one zero one one is there. So, is there any state naming one zero one one? No. So, delete or cut your lip one over there. Is there any state naming zero one one? Cut zero over there. Is there any state naming one one? Sorry for this. This one and this one. So is there any state naming one one? No. So you can delete again this one left uh, bit of this one. Is there any state naming one? Yes, that is there. But now I am not considering my last one as a first one of my sequence because this is non-overlap type. And that's why what I'll be doing over here, over here, I'm writing one thing. It is one zero. One is detected. And if I am detecting consecutive one over here, meaning of that my sequence is detected. But this should not be a my first one. And that's why for that reason, I want to go to this particular state. Now, what is this state? That is the reset state. So on the transition, we are writing one by one. Meaning of that sequence detect, uh, sequence is detected, but now you are in A state. So after this, after this, one is also coming. So from this, you can start with the next sequence. That is one, zero, one, one. Okay. So that's why you will be moving from this A state to B state again and now this third one whatever you are getting this will be acting as a first one and then this sequence is getting detected. Hope the idea is clear. So in this case why we are mo moving from D to A when one is input is one that we want that last one as a last one of your sequence. It should not be considered as a first one of second sequence. And that's why in non-overlapping case, it will be moving to state A. And again, you'll be starting from the beginning. So hope this idea is clear. I'll be deleting all this uh, written part. Now I'll be explaining how that is proper. Now whatever diagram we have drawn, whether it is proper or not for that you can tally. So I will be able to so take the example of this only. So input is one zero one one zero. Uh, likewise, we are having. So at start, I am at A state. So this is what is the A state. Now, if input is one, 
it will be moving from A to B. Output is 0. So, same is written. So, it is in B state and output is 0. Now, if input is 0, if I am in B state and input is 0, so it will be moving from B to C. So, I am in B state and input is 0, I will be moving from B to C state. Output is still 0. Now, I am in C state and input is 1. So, from C, it will be moving to T state. Input is 1, output is 0. So, you are getting this output 0 here. That is also valid. So, 0. Now, if input is 1, so what is happening? It is moving from this to this. And that's why output will be 1. So, here you are able to see, here you are able to see output is now 1. Hereafter, if 1 is coming, this will be your first one. So, from A, again it will be moving to B. Now, this particular thing is properly working. As I told you, this last one of your first sequence should not be first one of your second sequence, if that is there. And that's why, for that reason, we have shifted from D to A, when the sequence is getting detected. Again, you can check if 1 is coming, again that will be in the B state self-loop. So, you are able to see that self loop over here again output will be zero if you are in b and uh, zero is coming you will be moving from b to c again one is coming it will be moving from uh, c to d so he, here it is output is still zero if zero again it will be moving from this to this now because after one zero it might be one one is coming and that time sequence should be detected it should not go to the zero state although this is zero because this is this can be like one zero and then one one is coming and that's why one zero where is, is where it is getting detected that is at this moment and that's why we are having c to d transition after that one is coming so it will be moving from c to again d again one is coming so it will be moving from d to a so you are able to see this d to a and output is one so that way you are able to see this one over here so, hope this part is clear. Again, I am erasing everything. So, that way you will be able to check whether whatever diagram or state diagram we have drawn that is proper or not. Okay. So, hope this part is clear. How to go ahead with the non-overlapping 1011 melee sequence detector. Only change is this. Instead of in overlapping case, this is moving from this to this because last one is considered as the first one of sequence and first one is getting detected over here rest part is same but you should be knowing technical way why it is mentioned here for the non-overlap case so that i told you here last one of the um, uh, sequence will not uh, will, will consider as a first one i don't want that in non-overlap case and that's why we have moved from this to this so hope this part is clear for more details, you can see the video of uh, non-overlapping as well as overlapping. So, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Happy learning.